fingers, fingers skate selective. Bing, 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 FSS's Tape and Box Workshop. Shop, 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 shop. What up, everyone? It's Finger Skate Selective here, back today with a brand new Tape and Box Workshop. So, as you guys know, I asked you the other week what would be cool, a spine ramp or a mega ramp. You guys answered, so mega ramp it is. I think in the next Tape and Box Workshop, I'll go ahead and make a regular full-size spine, but for today, it's all about the mega. So, things you will need. A marker, tape, of course, wide, nice and regular. Exacto knife. Be very, very careful if you're using a knife. Maybe get your parents' permission. Snipper. You might need some of those. Now, as far as the box you will need, I went ahead and found a box that I think most people can get a hold of, especially if you're in the US. This is a common size priority mailbox called the shoe box because most shoe boxes will fit right inside it. I went ahead and taped up the ends. It was actually a used box, so it's kind of dirty and crusty, but it'll work. And I just taped it back shut so it's all hollow and that's gonna be the main structure of our mega ramp. Now, if you guys have noticed, before this tape and box workshop, I posted did seven tape and box workshops. Now, those were not brand new. You've probably seen them before. I grabbed those episodes out of Ask Frankie episodes. I'm sure if you guys wanted to see a tape and box, they were hard to find. I wasn't even sure which Ask Frankie episodes they were in, so I looked through all of them, grabbed them out, and put them up as their own separate episodes, just like this one's gonna be a separate episode. That way, they're easier to find if you wanna check them out, and so on. That's why I did that. I wanted to get them all posted up before I post this new one. So there they are. I put right in the title which number and which kind of ramp I was making so if you want to check those out go ahead and check them out but today we're making the mega ramp so by now you probably ran out and got your priority shoebox size box so here it is now here's my idea now as you guys know the mega ramp is a swooper so this is what I was thinking I was thinking maybe leave a little bit of a deck on the top come down like this up to the swooper. What do you guys think? Will it work? You might want to mess with it, get your angle right, but I think it'll do pretty good. Alright, so once you have the design of the mega ramp that you like, you think it'll be pretty good, go ahead and cut out just one side, but you only want to cut out this. You want to leave the bottom part because you're going to try and leave the box as complete as possible. So only cut out from here, here, along your line, and that's it. So let me go ahead and cut that out real quick. Alright, so I'm sure you guys already know how it works. Since I already cut this side out, I'm going to turn my box around, set it right on there like that, and then trace it, and that's going to tell me right where to cut on that side. So, super easy. Let me go ahead and trace it. Alright, so there it is. That's the template for that side. Looks about the same, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Alright, so now I have both sides cut out. Hopefully you're right there with me and you're at the same point. If not, go ahead and pause the video and get caught up. As you can see, I have both the sides here and they're pretty close. Remember, it doesn't have to be 100% on the money because it'll still work. So as you can see, I'm going to ride down, fly off there. You can use this top as the riding surface. We're definitely going to need this too. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut straight across this bottom from one side of the ramp to the other right here. To right here being as careful as I can and we'll see if we'll be able to use this as the riding surface. Alright so that was actually pretty good. You can pretty much see what's going on here. We're gonna ride right off the top, down, and off the ramp. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and bend this down and see where we're at. Let me go ahead and take this off there. I went ahead and took this extra piece off and it's all flat under there, so that's really good. So yeah, that'll work perfect. So as you can see, we got the sides cut out. We have everything taken off except for the top. Basically ready to tape that down. All we gotta do is make sure that we keep it as smooth as possible. Remember, any tape that you put on the riding surface, you want as flat as possible so it doesn't mess up your wheels. I'm gonna try and give this a little pre-curve. That way when I go to tape it down, it's more, more ready to be tilted. But that actually looks perfect. It looks like it'll work 100% good. I'm kind of surprised right now. It's actually holding, so I'm going to go ahead and put one piece of tape right along the bottom. I 
I went ahead and put the tape right at the bottom, right where the lift off is. I kept my tape really flat, and I'm going to try and tape up higher. I'm going to push the sides in a little bit and then put my tape down just so that the sides of the box are in to hold the top up. So there we go so far. Now I'm just going to do a little quick montage here and I'm going to tape all the way down. So here I go. All right, so that was literally 1,000 times easier than I thought it would be. It actually came out really, really good. I think that's smooth enough to use just how it is. We've even got a little platform at the top where you can roll right into it. And I know the first thing you guys are thinking, where's the landing ramp, right? Well, in an earlier episode, you guys already know, we made a kicker ramp. You might need to make a separate one that's even a little bit taller, but any kicker will work. You could land on flat, but I think a kicker's a little bit better. So I'm going to use the kicker that I made in a previous episode. That'll be my landing ramp. Yes, it is kind of low but it's better than nothing and yeah it was super simple to do if you make a mega ramp make sure you snap a picture of it and send it to fss pictures at yahoo.com i'll show it in my next tape and box workshop episode let me know what you guys think below i'm gonna do a few tricks on here for you thank you guys for tuning in my next tape and box i will be making the full size spine ramp so should be off the hook thanks for watching make sure you check out all my other weird videos and tape and box workshops reviews whatever it is what it is get your homework done for tuesday i will see you guys sooner than later all right, guys, here we are. I got it all set up. The only thing I had to do is once I set it up in here, I had to tape it down because the Mega itself is pretty light. But I was thinking, after you have the Mega all made, cut open the back where it's still a full box size. Open up the back, stuff something in there like a t-shirt or something. Just something that'll give it weight and it'll give it a little more support. But right now, it, it doesn't need support. It's actually pretty strong. The only thing is, it does slide around. I put a piece of tape really long this way and this way. So, And the kicker, you already know it's going to be really light. I put one long piece like this and it's actually very smooth it turned out way easier than I thought to make other than the tape and stuff it's free so you can't beat it it's very smooth I'm very surprised this might be my favorite tape and box ramp so far so it is what it is make sure you make one snap a picture of it if you don't make a mega if you make something else snap a picture of it too send it over to FSS pictures at yahoo.com I'll show it in my next tape and box workshop and speaking of ramps that you guys made let's check out your ramp, ramp. Hey, real quick, also, I wanted to let you guys know, if you get any action shots, like if you land a cool trick and you're filming it, make sure you send that over to FSSTOTD at Yahoo.com, include your YouTube name, and I might feature it in FSS as a trick of the day. Yeah, yeah.